The U.S. women's soccer team made a big move in court today. The reigning World Cup champions sued. The U.S. Soccer Federation saying they are underpaid and underrespected. Here's Nikki Batiste. Wins the 2015 Women's World Cup. Just as they gear up to defend their World Cup title this summer, the U.S. women's soccer team has their eye on a goal they've never scored, equal pay. In a class action lawsuit filed today, 28 players allege the U.S. Soccer Federation has utterly failed to promote gender equality. They argue that female players are paid less than male players for substantially equal work and are denied equal playing, training and travel conditions. The women are seeking to include any current or former female player representing the team since February 4th, 2015, which would include former goalie Hope Solo. We have power in numbers. The law will be on our side. It's pretty black and white. Today's lawsuit claims the U.S. men's team was paid more than $5 million after losing in round 16 of 2014's World Cup, while the women's team was paid less than $2 million for winning the entire tournament a year later. The women's team has won three World Cups and four Olympic gold medals. The men's team, none. Attorney Rich Nichols is representing Solo, who is also suing the U.S. Soccer Federation. The bottom line is the women, they play upwards of 20 to 30 games a year. The men play substantially less games and get paid 75 percent more than the women get paid. What would you say to the United States Soccer Federation? It's time to wake up. This fight's not going away. We are here to battle until we win in federal court. The United States Soccer Federation has previously argued that male players bring in more revenue than female players, but Hope Solo's lawyer says that's not true. We reached out to U.S. Soccer, but Jeff, we have not heard back. Some pretty stark numbers there. All right, Nikki, thank you very much.